he became closely associated with Jacob Shapiro, and the notorious careers of the two were closely allied thereafter. During the early 1930s, Buckalter and Shapiro turned to the lucrative rackets which were plaguing the entire New York area. In the years that followed, they built a criminal empire said matched in the annale of racketeering. The activities of their mob became the subject of headline after headline in the Metropolitan Dailies. With the typical weapons of their ilk, they attacked the poultry, fur, artichoke, and clothing industries. Brutality, violence, intimidation, and vandalism were their stock in trade as they moved in on flourishing businesses. Lead pipes, stench bombs, bullets, and strong-armed bandits were the tools they used. It was soon obvious that it was far less painful to give the outlaws their cut than to defy them. One New York man, 